This last month has been so busy and in an area that I didn't really expect it to be busy in and that's been getting gigs in higher end hotels. So this is hotels where it's $900 to $2,500 per night. And to be honest, I've had so much fun doing this and so wanted to share with you guys if this was something or an area that you wanted to get into, something that you've been looking to get into but have just been wondering where to start. Hopefully I can share my experience, how I got into this, just to give some practical steps on how you can get into it as well. I think with everything, it's just gotta start with your content. Content is king, as they say, and so making sure that you're able to take the best photos that you possibly can and to work on your game. Do your photography skills warrant hotels and resorts actually paying you to to take the photos for them to either put on their website, put on their Instagram, or to use as ads. And that's totally okay if you're not there right now. Everybody always works their way up to where they are now. You just have to spend tons of time and put practice and effort into honing your skills. And so step number one is just creating a portfolio. In a lot of ways, I've kind of stumbled upon the portfolio that I have now that I've been able to send out to different hotels. And that's just been through taking photos here on Maui. There's a lot of places like on the beach here that hotels will want to use. So you don't necessarily have to get into hotels to be able to create that portfolio and build a portfolio that hotels will look at and want to hire you for. You could simply start with asking a real estate agent if you could take a couple photos in an open house or you could find different areas around the city that you think would lend to different hotels and maybe you just grab a friend or a couple friends and just work on building that portfolio. I always suggest going out and looking at different hotels, Instagram pages, see what they like, see what they're posting, or going to your favorite photographer's page and see the images that they're creating. And of course, don't copy it, but you can always learn from it, emulate it, learn how they took that shot and why they took that shot, and then use that with your own skills and your own style. If you are on vacation and you happen to find yourself in a nice hotel or are able to walk around and tour a nice hotel, whip out the camera, grab some shots. If you've got a friend, ask them to model for you. You can kind of do a little secret photo shoot. Again, just as a way to build that portfolio. Not saying that you're working with those hotels, but just that you have those photos as an example of what you can take. I think building a portfolio it can sometimes take a while. And so again, like I had said before, I don't think this is anything that you need to rush on. Good quality work takes time and it takes practice. So if you're not there right now, that is okay. <laughs> Honestly, you just hustle your butt and try to create the best possible portfolio that you can that's most relevant to that hotel in whatever way you can. But I think that just comes to the next step of starting to reach out to different hotels. With one particular resort, I saw that it had just changed ownership. And so I made it a personal goal of mine to reach out in literally every way that I possibly could to be able to get that hotel. So I found the marketing manager on LinkedIn, on Instagram, I found the owner. I went on Instagram to the actual resort page and I reached out in a very polite way letting them know who I was, what I could do, and sharing my portfolio to see if they wanted any work done now that the ownership had changed. But because I had reached out to literally everybody and their mother that I could think of that was in relation to this hotel, one person got back to me and through that one contact, I was then able to get in touch with the marketing manager, set up a, a call, discuss what I could do, and putting together a little package that ended up getting me the gig to go out and shoot at this hotel. So seriously, part of getting the gig is just reaching out and making sure to reach out to the right person and to just a ton of people. And again, if you're just starting out, maybe this is just starting out with just a small local hotel or a bed and breakfast. And from there, you can just start to grow your portfolio, grow your resume. And then from that bed and breakfast, maybe you're able to get a smaller hotel and then the smaller hotel, you're able to get to a medium. And then finally, you're, you're able to shoot at that huge fancy resort. Again, these things take time and you can't expect to just land this 
huge resort right off the bat. Although crazier things have happened before in the past. Another tip in terms of reaching out to different hotels, different resorts is going on their Instagram feed and seeing if they actually do need work. There's a lot of smaller hotels or new hotels that don't have the content that maybe they should have, which can give you that opportunity and that talking point when you're reaching out to them to say, hey, I noticed on Instagram that you haven't been posting as frequently or maybe this is an opportunity to really up your game. I'd love to help you out with that. Here's my portfolio. Let me know what you think. Again, it's just a, it's a constant hustle. It's a constant grind reaching out to people. And I think the other important thing to know is that, and I've said it before, is that just because you have a no right now doesn't mean it's a no forever. Marketing managers change. The one marketing manager that has said no to me in the past switches over and the new marketing manager loves my stuff, loves my content, loves the photos and says yes. Or maybe they just forget about you or the timing wasn't right and you're able to reach out at a later date and this is when the, the stars align. This is when they're able to say yes. So it could just be a timing issue, making sure to just, just understand that no right now isn't the end of the world and a no for this hotel Maybe you've got a yes for this hotel. Getting a no doesn't really matter. It's not as big a deal as it might feel. Coming from a sales background, I'd work like eight hours a day, calling people up, trying to make sales, and I would get no's all the time. Basically, my job was just hearing no for like seven and a half hours just to get that one yes that one time, which made up for all of them. So just know again, the no right now isn't a no forever, and just because one client says no doesn't mean the next one won't say yes. The work that you're getting now, maybe it's not the work that you're wanting to get, but that job, that gig could lead to the one that you want to get. So do the best job that you possibly can for every single gig, whether it's the one that you want to do or not. So from there of uh, building your portfolio to then reaching out to tons of different places, it's just, it's just a cycle. It's, it's constantly growing that portfolio, getting better, getting a bigger client list, expanding that client list. And from there, you're able to reach out to bigger, better hotels and just growing as a creator and with who you're working with. Maybe you're expecting some fancy, you know, 10 steps to do it. Honestly, it's just, it's just this rinse and repeat. It's working hard. It's reaching out to tons of people, getting a ton of no's and always just growing in your craft. I think that kind of wraps it up. Again, maybe you were expecting something a little more intricate and, and detail oriented, but this is just how I've been able to get the gigs that I've been able to get. That's my hope for you. If this is something that you're wanting to do, hopefully you can follow this or just use this video as an encouragement where I came from not working with hotels at all to now working with hotels that charge $2,500 a night. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you've been wanting to do, if you've been finding it difficult to break in, if you have any specific questions maybe that I can answer, I would love to help out. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help and make a difference. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh man, this is the squeakiest chair ever. <laughs> this month has been so crazy 